Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, beware here out in the garage. Trying to take my mind off of things. And was doing a what better way to take your mind off of things than to work on your car. Uh, project. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about the rushing wind noise. I have an excellent way of keeping cool now. I decided to bring out my fan out to the garage and I set it up on the like this this is working smarter not harder right there put the fan and then sit down not with the wrench up your ass but sit down literally got a fan right in front of your face Woo! that is a that is awesome actually I couldn't have, <clears throat> couldn't recommend it anything better unless you had one of those perf like an air-conditioned garage that thing got twisted up in my shirt Fucking twisted itself up all the way up to my nipple. Almost, at least it stopped spinning when it grabbed the shirt, just the handle. But the thing twisted up on me and made me shout a little bit. I uh, wish I would have got that on video, but because I was doing some grind, I was doing some brush work. Because there's my niece's little Jeep. Um, valve covers. I said this in a prior video. Said I was going to clean these up. I even painted over the rubber. I do not care. Um, used the high temperature red enamel, the same I used on my timing cover. So I'll have a couple, so everything will be black on the engine. Then a red timing cover and red valve covers. And besides that, then there will be some shiny, shiny. My intake. I cleaned, I, since I flipped this back over, I cleaned the valley out, uh, air, air blew, it, blew it all out, got all the carbon deposits as much as I can out of it, and dry fitted the intake, there's no gasket in there right now, I put a couple of bolts in there just so I could secure it, just so I could secure it just enough, and I taped off all the bosses, eh, that's what you call them, right? Well, besides the distributor hole, the water pump hole, you know, I guess you can call, they're not nature's bosses, but fucking, you know, this one's for vacuum for the brake booster, that one's for the heater for whatever, for the temperature sensor. Uh, taped that all off. I think those don't go all the way down. Uh... Let's see. Cleaned up the engine mount, the upper engine mounts. Didn't bother spray painting those because those are just going to get ruined anyway. Come winter time, like I said, I didn't even spray the engine down and I just used this regular rust oleum crap. The same stuff I used on the outside of the, on the, on the outs, on the fenders of the wagon and the grill. That stuff's still sticking. So it should stick to the engine for a little bit. <clears throat> uh, I even hit a small pa patch with the uh, wire brush and it brought out a little extra shine on the intake. I, or it takes away some of that like film on the intake. I might brush the whole thing before I put it all together. Uh, even just trying to clean off some more of the uh, gasket material. Oops. Um, and even out here, I busted the, I, I don't know if you could see it, but I busted the nuts loose on the steering shaft, took those out, set them aside, got the broken pieces out of the, uh, the broken pieces out of there, I took off the little condenser evaporator thingy off the AC so I, now I have way more room for activities I took off the little vacuum box that was the little vacuum bubble that was there more room more room more room the thing is is that I only really have to wire up the starter and then drop the wire down that goes to the uh, oil pressure send and well the oil pressure sending units on the top of the motor there's there's like a knock sensor there's something on the bottom of the engine I gotta plug in I don't remember what it's for I don't even think I need to put in the knock sensor, but whatever. 
if it's got one, I might as well plug it in so I know that I'm not so I know that I'm not pinging. Um, what else did I do? I got rid of most of the spider webs. <laughs> All the wiring I could just take care of though, like even with the engine in it. So I'm gonna get that steering shaft loose, and then I will go back. Uh, because without that loose, I'm going to have problems. If I put the engine in, I'm not going to be able to get the headers on. Um, you've seen the headers before in my one video, in my parts unboxing video. Just I'll put them all. I'll put a, this is all going to be put on a playlist one day, and then you can literally watch my car transform in front of your eyes. About like five to ten minutes at a time. But if you're a really good friend of mine and you're a friend of mine on Facebook, then you can also see a little bit more of it because I've done a couple of Facebook Lives for my friends. <sighs> well, let's see. But yeah, top of a lawn, top the hood of a lawnmower, great workbench. Top of a intake <laughs> intake manifold box from Summit, perfect perfect spot to spray paint <laughs> right next to stuff that's purple <laughs> there's a little bit of over spraying it but that always wipes off <laughs> Whew. that bit with the drill though scared the crap out of me <laughs> but anyway thought I'd give you guys a, l a little bit more of a peek into it cuz I'm putting her in soon I'm gonna let those valve covers dry I got the gaskets in the house and when the gas and also I got the I was wondering where I put these and I knew that I had them sitting on top of something these look like they're a little sogged out but you know what they're in the package still so they're not ruined they're just a little sun weathered but but you've seen that they're they're laying face down so it's not like it's drying out the gasket every time the garage doors opening they're just a little warped little RTV that'll be fine um, but yeah my main problem is that I actually technically like I know where these things go but I don't know where they actually go <laughs> I mean everything's pretty much self-explanatory it's mostly the wiring that I'm that I'm gonna have an issue with or that I do have an issue with but I think I can get that all sorted out when I get it in the car. Where's it at? Yeah, that guy down there. Whatever the hell that little guy is, I think is the knock sensor. Because this is the oil pressure. This is the oil pressure guy. And actually, I'm going to have to take that off of the old engine because of the plug. Where is that one? That's not oil pressure. I'll figure out which one of these guys was the oil pressure and figure it out. So that's the only reason I haven't scrapped this engine yet because I wanted to have a reference. I mean technically I could just take the intake off that's the really the only reference I need but there's a couple little doodads on there that I'll have to take off and throw on this guy because I don't have the plug for that unless I unless because I know my car doesn't have that plug I don't think so I'll have to unscrew this take this off and try to adapt it or I'll have to figure out some kind of jerry-rigged system to get that to work because you need an oil pressure sensor you definitely need an oil pressure sensor, especially when you're just, especially when you're putting back together. I mean, I don't think this thing will have any oil pressure issues, but I, I didn't vacuum out the debris. I just took the blower, and it all blew in my face, and then up and out and everywhere else, and down into where the camshaft is, and down into where the oil pan is. So I'm gonna run some extremely thick stuff. When I when I restart this engine, because there's a, there's my thousand mile oil that I got from work a long time ago. Some guy came in, had a thousand miles. It's 5:30. Figured one man's trash is that was still shiny and clear 
at the time. Uh, my brother just sent me a video. Oh god, I can't wait to watch that. He sends me some of the sickest shit. Fucking butt. Alright. I'm gonna get going. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see what I want to do in the next video. I think I want to do the accessories. Because I want to get those on before it goes in the car because there are some tight clearances with that thing. Because I still have all the bolts in the front of the engine so it's basically all indexed I guess you could say. But I have to swap out the power steering lines on the uh, back of that pump. So that's what I'll have to do. The uh, Accessories are buried under that toolbox right there. That thing's empty anyway. I should just throw that piece, chunk of plastic away, but whatever. I'll try, we'll deal with the accessories. And, uh, yeah, and I mean, if anybody's looking for a gently used uh, evaporator, condenser, whatever container that stupid thing is. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> I don't care. I'll look it up. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, scratch the 20 bucks. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to put that on fucking Craigslist or something. Somebody will buy that piece of shit and they'll be like, yeah, I need that for my fucking station wagon. I've still got the AC. Um, I just want the damn thing to work. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. See you all in the next video. Later.